In the first of two Democratic candidate debates in Detroit, Bullock shared the stage with liberal firebrands Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren on Tuesday night and seven other candidates. He didn't waste time drawing distinctions, saying he would not support a Medicare for All health plan favored by Sanders and Warren. I'm not going to support any plan that rips away quality health care from individuals. This is an example of wish list economics. It used to be just Republicans wanted to repeal and replace. Now many Democrats do as well. He also trotted out another oft-used campaign message of his, that of being a Democrat who is progressive, yet moderate enough to win in a conservative state. He's the only one of the field of 37 that actually won a Trump state. 25 to 30 percent of my voters voted for Donald Trump. I know that we do have to win back some of those places we lost and get those Trump voters back if we're ever going to win. And when it came time to talk about addressing climate change, Bullock warned against going too hard on the anti-fossil fuel rhetoric, prompting this exchange with Senator Sanders. No, I, I think Democrats, often when they're saying, oh, these fossil fuel industries, these workers, those coal miner workers, look, the world's changing, we got to make it change. But I think Democrats often sound like the people that, as Congressman Ryan would say, shower at the end of the day, that they're part of the problem. And far too many communities are being left behind as we make this transition. Thank you. Look, we're having this discussion, and it, we can talk about competing Thank plans. Thank you, Governor. I want to give I Senator Steve. Sanders a chance to respond. Look, Steve, there ain't nobody in the Congress who's more strongly pro-worker than I am. But as the evening wore on, CNN moderators often left Bullock out of the discussion for long periods of time. Measured in minutes of exposure, he stood in seventh place out of the ten candidates. So was Bullock's moment in the debate sun enough to elevate him to the upper tier of Democratic candidates? That we can't know yet. But we do know he's going to need a boost in support if he hopes to make it to the next debate in September. In Helena, I'm Mike Dennison, MTN News. Now, 10 more candidates, including former Vice President Joe Biden, will be on the debate stage tomorrow night in Detroit.